Hello students, this video class is an initiative of Shiv Jyoti Educational Group. I am Shavya Vyas and I gladly welcome you all to my class. Today we shall be doing the revision of chapter 1 the earth in the universe and chapter 2 earth the living planet. We have already seen the explanation videos, the copy work and the book work of these, these two chapters. Now we will only be doing the revision part of this chapter. Okay? So before we start with before we start with the revision of chapter 1 the earth in the universe I request you all to open your textbook page number 1. Okay? So the points to remember in the revision of chapter 1 the earth in the universe is the universe, stars, constellations, the sun and the solar system, the planets, the moon and the earth. Now let us proceed with these points. First we have the universe. What is the universe? <coughs> the universe universe. What is the universe? Universe is a vast expanse of space. Universe is a vast expanse of space and what does this space contain? It contains planets, stars, and moons ok this space contains planets stars and moons now let us come to the next topic <coughs> next you have the stars come to page number 2 where you have stars <coughs> what are stars Stars are huge balls of hot burning gases and they give out heat and light. And your next topic is constellations. <coughs> what are constellations? We learnt about stars. So, constellations are groups of stars. They are groups of stars that appear to make patterns in the sky. What are patterns? Patterns are nothing but designs. So, these are groups of stars that appear to make patterns in the sky. Some of the well known constellations are you have the Orion, <coughs> you have the Leo and you have the Great Bear. Some of the well known constellations are Orion, Leo and the Great Bear. Please come to page number 2. There you will see the pictures of Leo the Lion, the Great Bear or the Saptarishi and Orion the Hunter. Now what is the next topic? You have the Sun and Solar System. The sun has the sun has eight planets revolving around it. Okay, this is your orbit, and you have eight planets revolving in around it, and there are eight planets revolving around the sun. So the sun and the eight planets together you call it 
the solar system. Is that clear? So, the sun plus the 8 planets forms a solar system. If you come to your book page number 2, the sun and the solar system, you have a list of the 8 planets. What are the 8 planets? They are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. So, the 8 planets and the sun together they are called the solar system. Mercury, this is your sun and Mercury is the closest planet to the sun and Earth is the third planet to the sun. Okay. The planet that we live in Earth is the third planet closest to the sun. Now, let us come to the planets. What are planets? What are planets? Planets are heavenly bodies. that revolve around a star. So, let us say this is your star. So, what are planets? They are heavenly bodies that revolve around the star. Okay? So, if your planet is located here, so what is a planet? They are heavenly bodies that revolve around a star. For instance, example of a star, this is the sun. An example of a planet is the earth. So, planet earth revolves around the sun which is a star. Is that clear all of you? And planets they do not have heat of their own. From where do they get heat and light? They get heat and light from the star that they move around. Now, let us proceed to the moon. Now, let us talk about moon. Okay. moon. What is the moon? Moon is a ball of rock hmm, that travels around the earth. This is your earth okay? and this is your moon. Okay? So, it is a ball of rock that travels around the earth. It is the brightest object in the sky. It is the brightest object in the sky and it is the closest neighbor in space. It is the brightest object in the sky and it is the closest neighbor in space. Why is it the closest neighbor? Because moon is the heavenly body that is closest to the earth. That is why it is called the closest neighbor in the space. Now, just like planets, moon also does not have heat and light. So, from where does moon get heat and light? It gets heat and light from the sun. It, moon is the brightest object because it is actually reflecting the light of the sun. That is why moon is the brightest in the sky. Let us proceed to earth. Earth is the third planet from the sun okay? and it is the only known planet to have life. It is the third planet from the sun and it is the only known planet to have life. So, this concludes the summary of the first step. So, for that I want you to open your textbook page number 4. Now, let us start with the book work and copy work of this chapter. Okay? So, before I do this, I want you to open your textbook page number 4 and start filling this along with me. A, fill in the blank. So, take out your pencil and start writing the answers in your book. Okay? So, A, fill in the blanks. Question 1, the universe is a vast expanse of dash. The correct answer is space. Second, the moon is our nearest neighbor in space. And question 3, 
the earth gets its heat and light from the dash the answer is sun because sun is the star and earth circles around the star that is the sun and it gets its heat and light from the sun question 4 planets do not have heat and light of their own so planets and moon where do they get their heat and light they get their heat and light from the sun and planets and the moon they do not have heat or light of their own question 5 the sun and the planets together form the solar system solar system is the sun and the eight planets together they are called the solar system now come to page number 5 okay and we shall do b circle the odd one out question 1 you have mercury mars jupiter and pluto so if you notice Mercury, Mars and Jupiter they are full size planet and Pluto is a dwarf planet. So Pluto is the odd one out circle it with your pencil and correct answer is Pluto. Question 2 Uranus, Leo, Orion and the Great Bear. Leo, Orion and the Great Bear they are the names of constellations and Uranus is the name of a planet. So, we, Uranus is the odd one out and circle this with your pencil. Third question, water, atmosphere, earth and Venus. If you see water and atmosphere, they are part of the earth hmm? and therefore Venus is the odd one out. So, circle Venus with a pencil. Now, let us go to the multiple choice questions again. Th this is also in Page number 5. Question 1. The universe is a vast expanse of you have A space, B light and C water and the correct answer is space. The universe is a vast expanse of space. Question 2. The twinkling lights in the dark sky are called A stars, B bulbs, C planets. So, because it is written twinkling lights, the answer is stars. Bulbs and planets, they shine with a steady light and planets, they shine with a twinkling light. Question 3. The sun is a A planet, B moon and C star. So, the sun is a star. Question 4. The number of planets in the solar system is 10, 8, 9. The correct answer is B, 8. Question 5. The only known planet with life on it is Earth, Venus, Mars and the correct answer is A, Earth. So, this concludes the revision of the first chapter. We shall now proceed to the classwork. <coughs> the Earth in the universe, this is the copy work of chapter 1. Question 1, what are stars? As I discussed before, stars are huge balls of hot burning gases and they give out heat and light. Stars give out heat and light but planets and moon, they do not have heat and light of their own. Please remember this. Question 2, name few constellations. Answer is A, Leo the lion, B, the great bear or Saptarishi, C is Orion the hunter. So, these names are made because of the shape that the constellation makes. So, depending on their shape, they are named after either an animal or after myths or legends. Okay. So, here you have Leo and Great Bear, these are names of animals and Orion is the name of a legend. Question 3, what is the solar system? The sun and the eight planets together form the solar system. Now, let us come to the fourth question, name the planets. You have to list them one by one, okay. One is Mercury, this is the closest to the sun. Second closest is the Venus. Third closest is the earth. 
fourth is Mars, fifth planet is Jupiter, sixth planet is Saturn, seventh planet is Uranus and eighth planet is Neptune. So is this clear all of you? We, now let us look at the definitions. Define one planet. Heavenly bodies that travel around a star that is planet and question 2 constellation groups of stars that appear to make patterns in the night sky patterns are nothing but designs. This concludes the revision of chapter 1 now we shall proceed with the revision of chapter 2 earth the living planet. So, before I start with this chapter again I am going to ask you to open your textbook page number 7. Okay? Open your textbook page number 7 and let us start the revision. The points to remember are the earth, the shape of the earth, the horizon, the coast and the sky. So, let us start with the earth. So, like I said earth is the third planet from the sun and it, the, it is the only planet in which life is assumed to exist and the next point is earth is called the living planet. Why is it called the living planet? Because all living things what all do we need? We need air, we need air we need water and we need right amount of warmth to live. So all these three things that is air, water and warmth where is it available? It is all available in earth and hence earth is called a living planet. Next thing is earth is made up of land, water, and air. So, land three one fourth of the earth is covered by land, and three fourths three fourths of the earth is covered by water. So, one fourth of the earth is covered by land and three fourths of the earth is covered by water and you also have air. Where do you find air? This is your earth and you have a layer of air around the earth. Okay? You have layer of air around the earth and this is called atmosphere. So, this is your earth and the layer of air around the earth is called your atmosphere. Now, let us come to the shape of the earth. I hope you are following me along with the textbook that would become easier for you to understand shape of the earth. Okay. Uh, hundreds of years ago people abroad they thought that the earth was flat in shape but actually it is round in shape. So what happened was a man named Ferdinand Magellan he was a Portuguese sailor he proved that earth was not flat it is actually round even the Astronauts proved that the earth was round in shape. Okay, so, the shape of the earth is round. Now, let us learn about the horizon. If you come, if you open your textbook, page number 9, you will, you can see a picture of horizon. What is the horizon? The place where this is your land and this is your sky. So, the place where the land 
appears to meet the sky is called the horizon. I shall explain it to you with the help of a drawing. This is your land. Okay. This is your land and this is your sky. So, this place, this place where the land appears to meet the sky is called the horizon. Okay. Now, let us go to coast. So, let us start with coast. If you open your book page number 9, the first, the second picture, you will see this is the land and the blue colored picture, it is the sea. Okay? The place where the land meets the sea, it is called the coast. So, coast meets, it is the place where the land meets the, place where the land So, coast is the place where the land meets the sea. So, if this is your land and this is your sea. So, this area where the land meets the sea is your coast. And finally, we are coming to sky. What is a sky? Sky is, this is your earth. And the vast space around the earth is called your sky. And it appears blue in color. So, this is all that is in chapter 2. We shall proceed to to the book work and copy work of chapter 2. Let us start with the book work. For book work, I want you to open page number 10. Okay? Please open your textbook page number 10. Keep your pencil ready okay? and we shall proceed with this. A write true, T for true and F for false sentences. Let us start with question number 1. An astronaut is a person who travels around the world. Who is an astronaut? He is a, he's a person who is trained to travel in space in a spacecraft. So, this is the wrong statement. So, write F. Question 2. The earth is a huge ball of burning gases. What is a huge ball of burning gases? The sun is a huge ball of burning gases. So, this is also a false statement. Write F. Question 3. Magellan sailed in one direction and finally his ship reached the place from where it had started. So, in order to prove that the earth was round, he sailed in one direction and reached exactly the place where it had started. So, this is a true statement. Right? capital T. Question 4. There is more land on the surface of the earth than water. As I discussed earlier, the, there is more water on the surface of the earth than land because uh, the surface of the earth is covered with three-fourths of water and one-fourth of land. So, this is a false statement. So, write F. Question 5. The sky is a vast space in the universe. It is a true statement. So, write capital T. Now, let us come to page number 11. Page number 11 of your textbook. Okay. Multiple choice questions. Question 1. The land and sky appear to meet at the A coast, B horizon and C sea. The correct answer is B. Horizon. Question 2. All living things need this in order to live. A. Books. B. Toys. And C. Air. Which is more important for you to live? Is it books or toys? No. The most important thing for us to live is the air. So, you pick option C. Air. 
Question 3. A person who is trained to travel in a spacecraft is called an A. Acrobat, B. Actor, C. Astronaut. The correct answer is C. Astronaut. Question 4. Magellan was a sailor from A. France, B. Portugal, C. Britain. He, he was a sailor from Portugal and a person from Portugal is called a Portuguese. Question 5. The earth is shaped like a A. Ball, B. Plate, C. Burger and the correct answer is A. Ball. So put a tick mark in A. So this concludes the book work of chapter 2. We shall now proceed to the copy work of chapter 2. Copy work of chapter 2 Earth the living planet. Answer the following. Question 1. Who was Ferdinand Magellan? Ferdinand Magellan was a Portuguese sailor who proved that earth is round. Now let us go to question 2. What is the horizon? Answer. The place at which the land and sky appear to meet is called horizon. So what is the horizon? It is land and sky. The place where land and sky meet, it is called the horizon. Question 3. What is the coast? The place where the land and sea meet is called the coast. So what is the difference between horizon and coast? In horizon, it is land and sky. And in coast, it is land and sea. Is that clear? So, let us proceed to the next question. Describe the sky. The sky is the vast space surrounding the earth. And it looks blue in color. Now, let us come to the definition. Define atmosphere. The layer of air surrounding the earth is called the atmosphere. And define astronaut, a person who travels in space, in a spacecraft is an astronaut. So this concludes the revision of chapters 1 and 2. I hope you understood the things clearly and I hope you are studying well. So we shall meet again in our next class. Till then have a great day. It's bye for now.